Hi guys, this is Dave's Vintage Apple Tech, and today I finally got my card. It's not any card, it's for my Mac Pro. Uh, it is a Radeon 280X, it has 3 gig of memory, and it's a DDR5 and 4K support, so that way I can run Mojave on my Mac Pro. So anyway, it just came in today, and uh, so we'll unbox it here and uh, check it out, and we will get it installed in our machine. Hi guys, and here's the card. Um, it's a, uh, <clears throat> it's really a beautiful uh, card there, and it's got all kinds of. Uh, it's got the HDMI. It's got the DV port. It's got the uh, mini high definition port I forget what the other one is but anyway yeah nice so this uh, is supposed to boot up natively uh, it's been flashed uh, it's not an actual Apple card but it has been uh, has the FI boot screen on it and uh, but I mean man this thing is got three fans on it and very impressive uh, came with all kinds of cables with it. So that's great. I already have the cables, but hey, that's that's great So yeah, so we're gonna get this thing put in and uh, My goal is to run Mojave on it. So um, I've got Mojave already downloaded I just can't install it because I don't have the right card. So we'll see how this uh, Radeon card works um, the one I have in it now is the original Radeon from uh, Apple. It's an older card so anyway, and it works just fine. It's just not metal supportive. So we're going to get this put in and uh, see how it works. Okay, so I took the um, old card out, and this is a uh, original one on the Mac. It's the uh, AMD uh, Radeon, and it's one of the original cards. So. Anyway, uh, it works fine, just it doesn't support metal, and uh, it doesn't have much horsepower to it, that's for sure, because it's, it's only a one gigabyte, and uh, it's just got one port on the back of it there, and then a mini disk screen port on it there. So, anyway, so we're going to put the new one in, and I also got a, a Sonnet, it's Allegro, it's a USB 3.0. It's a four port, it's a PCIe adapter slot card, and that's also going to go into Mac Pro, and that will give me a USB 3, and also uh, it's capable of, you know, powering other devices too, which is nice, and uh, I'll show it to you real quick here, and uh, it's a nice looking little card here, we're, gonna, we're also going to put that in, and so there you go right there and it's a brand new one uh, it's a new old stock it's like from 2014 but it'll work just fine in the Mac Pro it'll uh, get you know it goes right into the PCIe slot so we'll get a lot of speed out of it and it's all backward compatible I think it'll do uh, USB 2 as well so we're gonna get this in there as well as the uh, uh, Radeon card graphics card Okay, so <clears throat> we got the new card in, the Radeon 280X, it's in, and uh, it was, um, I had a little trouble getting it in, but this is because it's bigger than the other one, it's, it fits fine, it's just, the other one's a lot smaller and it pops right in and out, so anyway, I got the dual connectors on it, so and I made sure that the um, sapphire button is in the off position, so it should boot up in the, the uh, Apple boot screen, so we're going to plug it in and, and boot it up. And that's what it looks like. The, um, the USB 3 card is in there, the Sonic card. And I'm using it on the bottom location there, so I got four, four ports there, so that's nice. And, the, and then, of course, there's the uh, AMD, that's the uh, Radeon Sapphire card, the 280X. And, uh, so yeah, so it's all looking good in there. And so anyway, um, we're slowly doing our upgrades to this. Um, and like I said, I have 
as a recap, I have the uh, one terabyte conventional hard drive. That's the crucial one terabyte SSD drive. This one is going to be a crucial two terabyte drive. <clears throat> and eventually I will um, replace this with a uh, SSD drive as well. And then, um, like I said, I've got both power cords to this here, so it's getting the full power to the board. So if we do any kind of heavy graphics gaming or anything like that, we'll be able to do some fair amount of gaming on it. Not that I do that very often. And eventually, guys, I am going to uh, put a dual processor tray in here. I have the, the next to the highest processor you can put in this one already. And, uh, and I'm running the three channel memory, so I have 64 gigabyte of memory DDR3, uh, <coughs> excuse me, DDR3, and it's the 133 3 megahertz. So, yeah, so eventually we'll be running full 12 cores. Right now we're running six, but like I said, we have to get a different uh, dual processor to try to do that, and then we'll also add another uh, 64 gig of memory on that too. So, anyway, <coughs> so probably my next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to replace the uh, airport card and I'm going to put uh, there's nothing wrong with it it's just I'm going to upgrade it to the uh, AC and it'll be with a different Broadcom card and um, uh, with the US with the uh, the 4.0 um, ah, Bluetooth and anyway so that'll be good but uh, <coughs> for right now uh, it, it, this has been a fantastic machine. Uh, my previous video, I <laughs> I paid like 199 bucks for it. I mean, it's 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 a great machine. It's the conditions really really nice on a machine. Very very few few scratches on it. <clears throat> just a you know just a couple little things here and there. But uh, that's just I don't know what that is dust I think. But anyway, yeah. So. Uh, and there's one right there, but that, I mean, hey, that's nothing. I mean, the panels, everything look great on it. So anyway, so we're going to get, um, we're going to put Mojave on this. And then, uh, like I said, uh, uh, this is kind of an addendum because I just got this card and we had a power outage. And <laughs> now the Sonic card came that I ordered for it. So I got all in there, so now we're going to get Mojave on it. And, see how it runs. Should run it just fine natively. And there it is. It's detecting the board. It's the AMD Radeon R9 280X Sapphire and uh, it's three, 3 gigabyte. So we're gonna try to um, install Mojave. Uh, we'll see how that goes and I'll be back in a moment. And you can see on the PCI bus um, it shows the AMD Radeon card, uh, and it shows the, uh, the USB card that's in there. And, um, <clears throat> if I go to, let me get here, if I go to the, uh, USB network there, and you'll see right there, USB 3 bus, it sees the card, and, uh, I've already stuck a card in it, and it works just fine. So let's get uh, get this thing going here, and then you can see um, I did get Mojave on it right there. The OS Mojave is on it, and uh, see the version there, 10.14.6, and uh, got all the updates done on it. And it's running beautiful. I've already played with it for a while, and so anyway, anyway, this it's nighttime for me now, but it's only a few seconds for you guys. So anyway. Yeah, it's uh, it's working good, guys. So, anyway, um, we'll give you more updates as we go on. And like I said, the I'll give you more updates with the G3 uh, update with that, and also that uh, cable. I did a live thing on it. Uh, I didn't really have anybody participating in it. There, there was only just myself viewing. But that's okay. Good practice. But anyway, hopefully next time we'll have some people will chime in on it, and uh, when we do another live. We'll cast we'll, we'll figure out something else and uh, like I said I, I plan on doing some kind of giveaway and uh, I haven't decided what yet but like I said if I ever get to a thousand subscribers um, uh, we will uh, do some type of nice giveaway all right talk to you later